Hey everybody, welcome back to part three of the Tour of Heroes Angular tutorial that we've been working on. Today we're gonna to talk about interfaces. In fact, I should probably pull up another tab so we can get some definitions on the interface. And if you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to hit subscribe. Pretty much what this channel is, is when I learn new things in code, I come on here and I share them with you guys. And that's pretty much what it is. We learn together that way. And I hope you guys, if you have been following along, are enjoying the series so far. We've just been following the Angular Tour of Heroes tutorial that they have on Angular's website. If you want to go check it out, I will have it linked down in the tutorial. And here's where we're at. We're going to create a hero interface. And they say a hero is more than a name. So if you remember, we just had in the TypeScript file of the heroes component, a property hero, and we gave it a value, or I did, you probably named it something different, big boy, which was the hero that I created. And then in the app component HTML, we have the title that's bound from the app component TypeScript file. And then we also have the selector for the heroes component. And if we go to the heroes component HTML, we have the hero property that I just pointed out bound to the HTML. So in the tutorial, they say a real hero is more than a name. Create a hero interface in its own file and give it ID and name properties. So interfaces in TypeScript can do different things. One of the things is what you would expect if you're familiar with interfaces, and that is define a contract, if you will, between it and the class that's going to implement this interface and what's to be expected in that class. So here's an example of that. We have this interface I employee here over on tutorials teacher. And they have some different properties and they also have two methods that they expect whatever class is going to implement this interface to have and to define. So that's kind of like the normal use case of an interface that you've probably seen in other programming languages. But something else you can do in TypeScript with an interface is use it as a type where you can list properties and the type that each property is. So let's do what they said. They said in the source folder and then in the app folder, we are going to create a new file. So I'll right click on it, hit new file. This is going to be hero.ts for a TypeScript file. And then in this file, we're just going to define our interface. And we're going to start by saying export, meaning we're going to be able to use this interface beyond this particular hero.typescript file. So export interface, and they want us to name it hero with a capital H. And then here's where we can give it the properties that we expect it to have. So ID, which is going to be a number, and the name, which is a string. And that's it. And now if we go back, we can refactor this code to use that interface. So instead of hero, which is equal to big boy, let's say hero, which is of type hero with a capital H that we just brought in. And it's not imported yet at the top, so we'll double click right here. And you can see now we imported hero from go back a directory hero.typescript. And that's going to be equal to, and we can give it some values. So ID, which is going to be one, and name, which is going to be big boy. Okay, so now we created hero here. And if we refresh and I go ahead and serve this and bring it up in a new browser. Oh, I guess I got a CD to the actual project. Now, if we try serving this, should be okay. And you can see after it pops up in our browser, we do have the title, which we gave it in the app component TypeScript, and then it placed it in the HTML, but we don't get what we expected in the heroes component HTML. And that's because we need to change it up a little bit because now it's no longer just a hero, but it has properties that we can reference in the HTML. So let's go back to the HTML. And here in the h1, we're going to do hero.name to say, let's display the name property. Okay, and we can say the details of that hero. Okay, let's put a div and a span and say the ID is going to be this. And then outside of the span, and do the two uh, curly braces and then hero.id. And I'm just going to copy this line and below it, change ID to name. And then instead of hero.id, hero.name. And we'll hit save. It'll refresh. And here we go, big boy details. We have ID, which is one, and name, which is big boy. And that is how you can use interfaces to define a type and then use it just like you would a class in its object.
And so this would be a pretty short video. I stopped there, I was thinking about it, but I might as well continue with the next step, which they talk about pipes. And pipes is just a way of formatting how the data looks. And you can think of a pipe as we're gonna take something before, we'll run it through this pipe, do something with it while it's in that pipe, and then it comes out looking a little bit different. And in our case at the top, we're going to use a pipe, which is just one of the OR operator, if you are using C sharp, which is the shift and the button above the enter key. And then one of the pipes you can use is uppercase. So we'll do something like that. It's gonna take hero name, it's gonna flow it through this pipe, and it's gonna take it and make it uppercase. That's exactly what this means. So we'll hit that um, save, and then now you can see big boy is now an uppercase. And there's different things you can do. Uh, like for example, let me go to here's component, Dot .ts, and let me put another property, and let's say value, which is going to be equal to 1.23. And let's say value is actually like a dollar amount. And above this, I'm actually gonna put another h1 just so we can easily see it. And I'm just going to put value into our HTML. So I bring it back over, we see 1.23, but we don't have the dollar sign. How do we go ahead and make that look like a currency value? It's pretty easy, at least for US currency. You can just pipe and put currency. We'll hit save again. And now it says $1.23, just by putting that value through the currency pipe. So there's a bunch of different formatting that you can do, different pipes that you can use, and I'm sure Angular has all of them on their website if you wanna learn more. So that'll be it for this video. Thanks so much again for watching, guys. If you liked it, don't forget to hit subscribe. And in the next video, we're gonna talk about two-way data bindings. So not only when we change something up in the HTML side, is it going to go back into TypeScript and change it up there, but also vice versa. If it does something in the TypeScript side and changes the value, it'll be displayed in the HTML. So stay tuned for that. Um, hope to see you there and take care.